how to set up and run C++ in Visual Studio Code. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can run C++ code in Visual Studio. Now to start with, we need to come over to extensions from the left-hand side. And then using the search box, we need to go and search for C++. You then need to go and click on C++ extension pack over in the left-hand side. And you need to go and click on install. You can see that I already have this installed. Now you also need to install a second extension as well so just go and search for code runner in the search box and then you need to click on this top one here and you need to go and install code runner you can see I already have this installed now once you've done that you can click on your file explorer in the top left hand side and you can then go and create a new project so I'm going to click on file click on open folder and then I'm just going to create a new folder here by right clicking click on new and then select folder and I'm just going to call this C++ we can then go and select that folder and click select folder so now we have our project open we're going to create our first file so I'm going to right click here click on new file so now you can just go and give this a name I'm going to call mine example.cpp which is the extension for C++ and if this is a C program it will just be example.c so now you can just go and type in your C++ code I already have mine here and this is just the example I'm going to be using and now we're going to need to download a compiler in order to go and run this program so what we're going to do is is head back over to an internet browser and you're just going to type in msys2 and press enter and then you need to head over to this website which is msys2.org now make sure you're on the official website and then you can scroll down the page and then you can go and click on this downloadable file once it's finished downloading we can simply go and open up this executable and we can go through the steps to install this onto our computer so i'm just going to press next click on next again go and press next and then give that a few seconds while it begins installing now once it's finished just go ahead and press finish and this will open up this terminal here now we need to head back over to our web browser and on this same website you need to go and copy this code here so I'm just going to copy all of this you can then head back over to the terminal and we're just going to right click and select paste and then go and press enter now this is going to install all of the necessary packages that we need in order to run C++ it's going to ask do you want to proceed just press Y and hit enter now once that's been installed we need to go and open up the file explorer on our computer you can then double click on your C drive and then double click on msys64 you then need to double click on ucrt64 and then go and double click on bin we then need to head over to the file directory at the top and go and copy all of this you can then open up the start menu on your computer search for the word environment and click on edit environment variables you can now click on this option here called path and click on edit you can then select new and you need to go and paste in the file directory that we just copied and press enter now once you've entered this go and press ok to save the changes and then go and press ok at the bottom of this page you then need to open up your start menu go and search for the word terminal and click on this window here you then need to go and type in gcc space dash dash version and then go and press enter now you should get this message here and this indicates that this has worked successfully now once you've done this you'll need to go and restart your computer this is really important for this to work once your computer's restarted go and open up the start menu and open up visual studio code now once you've reopened your c++ program you can go and click on the play button to go and compile this and you should now be able to go and execute this without any issues so it's really as simple as that guys let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.